Hacker family, it's me, Warren. And in today's Hack Make Do, um, I want to show you a very quick tip. Uh, so I'm going to jump on in and show you now. So with an Embraco site, an Embraco 9 site this is, uh, as you can see I've got .NET Run and the site running over here in the terminal. Uh, we have document types and media types, member types and so on. And for document types and things like that, we and element types, uh, we can choose an icon. Right, so for here, I've got a header and I've chosen a heart. Uh, if I search for something like a header, there isn't anything really that matches up. Obviously then I can change the color of these and things like that, but for now, there isn't anything that I want to use. However, I can then go and download an SVG icon uh, from any number of various sources and use that in my Embraco site. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's jump over to fontawesome.com. Uh, there's a new version six beta that's in progress. Um, I'm gonna look for some solid icons and I've chosen the free collection. And there's a thousand icons to choose from here. Um, I think they have one called header. So they have heading, so I could choose this. Um, they're gonna try and you get me to use the, their HTML and their JavaScript library. I'm not necessarily interested in that and I only just want SVG. So I can click this download SVG file. I'm gonna save it. In a minute, I'm shoving it in a pictures folder. Perfect. So for this to show up in here, uh, let's stop the site because it's not gonna work whilst it's running. Uh, and then we're gonna create a new folder in app plugins of my site. This can be called anything you want. So uh, in my case, I'm gonna call it icons because that kind of makes sense. Then this next two folders are based on convention. So these two folders do matter what they're called. So next one, I am going to call uh, back office. And inside the back office folder, I need a new folder called icons. And inside there, this is where we're going to copy and paste our SVG. Where did it go? Heading, solid, it's cool, fine. So I'm going to copy it in. So let's rerun our site, .NET Run. Site should be booted back up. So let's refresh the back office. And now if I start, oh, there you go. It's the first one straight away. So we can see that has uh, been picked up. Perfect. So I can even search for head in, because that's the name of the file name. So I can click it. So head in solid would be what we could search for, but obviously head in makes sense. Um, I could then make it a pink head in, uh, blue, green. Uh, let's make it purple. I don't know why, but yeah. There you go, so that's how easy, let's save it and make sure it works, there we go. That's how easy it is to add custom SVG icons to make more context aware uh, Embraco back office. Hopefully that was a nice quick tip for you. So just as a recap, go and download an SVG that you want to use, uh, either maybe it's a, a brand or uh, something that is relevant to the document type or the element type or member or media type that you're creating. Um, maybe it's not one we uh, like the, you have in the back office that we ship out the box. And the next thing to do is create a folder in app plugins, call it whatever you wish. But uh, in my case, I made it called uh, icons because it kind of makes sense. Then uh, back office and icons, these two folders do have to be called this. Uh, so it could, my folder here could be called whatever, but back office and icons and then here in here, drop the SVGs and then you'll be able to select them based on the file name. Cool, uh, hope it all that was very good. Uh, that was a real quick tip for today. Uh, I just wanted to share that. I'm not sure everyone actually knows that you can quite easily do that. So until next time, happy hacking and uh, I'll see you out on the interwebs. Bye.